Hello there, everyone. I'm Lilis Fox, and a warm, warm welcome to my channel. I post new videos on mindful gaming every week, everything from let's plays of my favorite games to tip videos and roundup and review videos on mindful games. If that sounds like your kind of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Today, I want to talk to you about Stardew Valley why it took me so long to start playing it, and why I think every mindful gamer should give it a try. The first thing that turned me off with Stardew Valley was its simple pixel art style. I thought for sure that I would find it difficult to immerse myself in its world when I was used to playing beautiful, lifelike games like Breath of the Wild, Animal Crossing, Skyrim, and more. So much of my approach to mindful gaming involves taking in the setting and scenery and imagining myself in each new world. Placing myself into the farms and forests of Stardew Valley seemed like an impossible task. Until I started playing. From the very first scenes of the game, it became clear to me that the art style of Stardew Valley is an intentional choice. A move toward simplicity, toward finding beauty and purpose in what is pared down. And sure enough, just a few days into playing the game, I began to see it as beautiful. Pink, pixel cherry blossoms fall from the sky. The forests are filled with beautiful, detailed pines, with bits of grass and flowers and other treasures to forage. In winter, the white snow brings a quiet calm. The music in this game is beautifully done, and it goes quiet when it needs to, like in the evening when the sounds of crickets suggest that the day is nearly done and it's time to wind down beside the fire. The second thing that made me question whether Stardew Valley was for me is the game's time mechanic. Unlike Animal Crossing where days pass in real time, in Stardew Valley each day is only 15 minutes in real time. I found myself frustrated that especially in the early days of the game, I would often only accomplish watering my crops, talking to a few townspeople, and maybe doing a couple of levels in the mine before having to race back to bed for the very firm 2 a.m. deadline. If you have never played Stardew Valley, your day begins at 6 a.m. on the dot, and you must be in bed before 2 a.m. or you'll pass out wherever you are and lose items and money in the process. When I first began playing, I was overly focused on the passing of time, how much I could get done in a day, how productive I was being overall. I wondered how I could possibly find the time to enjoy the scenes and relationships in the game if I was always rushing from place to place. I thought for sure that this was one game where wandering aimlessly was not possible. Again, I was proven wrong. Once I decided to let go of the pressure to be productive, to do things perfectly, to use every ounce of time I was allowed to get things done, I found myself relaxing. I found myself enjoying just walking through the forest, chopping wood, looking for seashells, seeing who I would stumble upon. I realized that the days and years pass quickly, but very much like Animal Crossing, there is no real end game. And if there is an end game, there is certainly no pressure to arrive there quickly. Who cares if my first year ends with only $500 in my pocket? Who cares if I waste a day hanging out with my goats or chatting it up with Leah? Who cares if I don't really learn how to fish until year three? What matters is that I'm finding joy in the game, that the game is bringing me peace and calm. Finally, before I started Stardew Valley, I thought it was just a game about building a farm. And while this certainly appeared to my queer cottagecore heart, I like playing games that have more heart to them. Thinking about this now, I can't help but laugh at my first impression. Stardew is no more a game about simple farming than Animal Crossing is a game about animals crossing. At its core, I think Stardew is a game about relationships, about slow, steady, personal growth, and how our efforts to grow can impact everything and everyone around us. As we build our farm in Stardew Valley, we also gain skills in everything from foraging to mining, and as we make efforts to get to know the people who share Stardew Valley with us, we gain beautiful insight into who they are as people, what they love, what they want, what they struggle with. No, this is not a game about farming. 
It's a game about what can happen when we are vulnerable with ourselves and with others. And there is so much beauty in that. So if you are like me and you were turned off by Stardew Valley, this is my call for you to give it another chance. It is so, so worth it. And if you'd like to see more guides on playing this beautiful game mindfully, then you are in the right place. I have a lot more to say about this incredible game and how I like to play it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you play Stardew Valley, or if you don't, what has stopped you from playing it in the past. As always, your support means the world to me. Take good care, friends, and see you soon.